who you've all been waiting for. Um, gonna shave. This will be my first shave video. Uh, welcome South Florida wet shavers. And um, I'm gonna be shaving with a very unique razor today. Um, it was given to me by my dad and um, for my birthday this past March. Um, had John, Shave Master General, pulling up the blade for it. And uh, well, let's just get right to it. Today I'm going to be shaving with Star. Did a little research on the internet, YouTube and such, and there's no one, there's no videos of anyone shaving with one of these. So I figured I'd put off my straight razor shave and, and do this thing. I um, just want to thank my dad for this. Um, this shave is dedicated to you. Uh, miss you, I wish we lived closer so we could hang out more. But uh, I love you, and I thank you for this, and um, we're going to try it out. Maybe I'll send it your way, Dad, and uh, you can try it out too. Um, so let's get to it. Star Razor, uh, made by the uh, Camp of uh, New York, uh, Camp Brothers. Um, I believe these were made in USA, but they were patented all over the world. Um, the detail on these, these things are just... Uh, tremendous they've got all sorts of patent numbers and awards that they've won and, and I just love the fact that they've uh, got their names uh, star stamped right in there uh, this is open comb and uh, uh, they call these things ladder catchers uh, that's why it's shaped uh, this way um, blade takes a single-edged blade this is a true to the company, a star blade. It's got the three stars in there. Um, I've also seen this blade uh, with the stars are lower and then above them it says uh, star on it. Um, don't have my glasses, but it says Camp Brothers made in USA on the spine here. So, uh, start off by loading this thing up by. Uh, just sliding this down the front. It's got two little catches here. And you get that under those catches and you just push it forward until it bottoms out and then it little stops at the each, each side. And you've got this nifty little uh, latch on the back that you lift up. A uh, little spring and it holds that uh, spring forward. Um, so this guy's ready to go. The soap I'm going to be using is ready for it. The pass around that Jason uh, is uh, doing with his limited edition soap. Thank you, Jason. Um, and uh, so I'm going to give it a shot with this. Um, I've had it blooming for probably about five minutes or so. Not that long. It's a very, it's a soft soap. It's a soft soap, so it shouldn't have any problems lathering up. I'm going to be using my uh, bore, my bore brush on it, or not my bore brush, my uh, my badger brush. My now number one. Um, I know a lot of people shave with warm water. Um, I tend to shave with cold water. Um, I shave after I, I take my shower, so uh, I got hot water on the face, you know, at that time. But um, for my shave, for the most part, I just use cold water. Oh, that looks good. And it smells nice. I, I'm new to soaps about two months um, my education of soaps and I'm finding that there's a lot of barber uh, scents barbershop scents 
and um, I guess this is one of those classic scents that uh, barbershops had. Um, is my guess. I don't know. And I've got a little wanky setup here, so forgive me if I have to adjust every so often. much as I love this badger brush, the backbone on it's a little soft, so I'm thinking of tying some string around the base of it to help give it a little stiffness. But man, it sure does the job. Definitely increased my lathering game since I've joined you guys, South Florida Wet Shavers Group. Look at that. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Just plenty more on there. Easy. Enough on it to do three, four passes. Not that we're going to be doing that today. So here we go. I'm a little nervous. I actually offered this uh, to John uh, to shave first and do a video on it and be the first one to get a video out uh, with this razor, and he declined. He said he was scared of this. Not that I'm trying to throw you under the bus, John, but. Uh, I was a bit taken aback when you when you said you were scared of this thing. Um, I'm definitely afraid of straights right now, but this thing this doesn't scare me no more than a an old open comb Gillette or anything like that. So, um, yeah, here we go. I'm a little un, untraditional here, and I use my first passes. Usually against the grain, that blade really sticks to your skin. <clears throat> Sings like a like a straight. See, catches. Oh, you're at it. That's pretty cool. Let me open that up and see what we got in there. Anyhow, but so far so good. Let's continue on. Definitely have to get the angle right on this. I may need to strop it. Maybe another ten times. I stropped it on linen for ten passes, and then twenty passes on the leather. Definitely getting a little more confident with this thing.
Star Razor. I think this one was made, it's got to be about 100 years. Um, I know the research that I've seen was uh, 1901, I think was their first patent, but don't quote me on that, please. And I think this is a little bit later version. The earlier version had little stars on the handle for grip. This just has a knurling. I kind of imagine that this is what shaving with a straight is going to be like. Um, but essentially, you kind of are shaving with a chunk of straight. First pass, done. Uh, done better with a DE, but uh, I think it's because of angle and uh, all of that stuff. Let's do another one. Let's, let's rinse off first. Quick rinse. Cold water. No mix yet. <clears throat> Sorry about that light up there. Every time I pass, I still hear some hair there. My hair is a little weird, and this grows from here to here. It grows downward, and as it rounds my my uh, jawbone, it kind of goes back and down a little bit, and then it's just a little weird down in here. I generally don't get a BBS down down in that area <clears throat> but I'm not uh, too retired I got a little weeper there um, not required to have be clean shaven every day so I let it go you know you can still hear it there Now, once you find the angle on this, it does a good job. It makes it really comfortable. Look at that. I love there's, there's a handful of razors of this era, and they're all kind of pretty much shaped the same. This lather catcher. I know Gillette made one. I think uh, I think Anthony has one. A Gillette brand. And um, there's a few other small 
uh, namesake um, companies that popped up around the turn of the century and uh, you know jumping in on that uh, shaving thing as, as everything does you know so um, star seemed to have kind of lasted the longest And once you find the angle on this, and it's almost, I thought it would be flat to the face, you know, like that, but it's just about like that. And man, you can just, you can zip, zip right along. <clears throat> so my phone's telling me I've got three minutes left of recording. I think I'm just about done. So I got a little little bit here. I'm sure if I took the time and did a third pass, I could get, get my trouble areas. But all in all, very awesome. Very neat. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, got one weeper. One guy. And I think I, I, I went in there a little aggressive. Um, I'm not blaming the razor on that. I think it was uh, my error. But that does it. I'm not gonna bother with the cleanups and the aftershaves and all that. I'm gonna use, uh, because I've got the barber pole from Jason. I'm gonna follow it up with Clubman. This one's for you. Um, thanks guys, shave on. South Florida wet shavers.